Hey Brett, imagine you've spent some time in Google AI Studio or Vertex AI Studio experimenting with different parameters and refining your prompts until you're happy with the results the Gemini model is giving you. Okay, consider it metted. I can use the Gemini API directly with the default settings or use my own customized parameters through AI Studio. Now I'm thinking, what's the next step? How do I actually integrate this powerful AI into my applications? This is where things get a bit more technical. To actually use the API within your applications, you'll need to generate an API key for Google AI Studio or set up authentication and authorization for Vertex AI Studio. This process involves obtaining credentials that allow your application to securely access and communicate with the Gemini API. It seems like we are going down a path that might be a bit beyond the scope of an introductory explanation. Yeah, that's very true. But I'll leave it at this. It's important to know that these are essential steps for integrating Gemini into your own projects. Fair enough. So without getting overly technical, how should I be thinking about this communication between my application and the Gemini API? Think of it like getting a backstage pass for a concert or special event. You need proper authorization to access certain areas, just like your app needs proper authorization to access and utilize powerful capabilities of the API. This ensures secure and controlled access to the AI model, allowing you to seamlessly integrate its intelligence into your applications. Okay, so let's say I have the proper authentication or API key in place. What happens then? With those in place, you're now able to start making API calls from your application code. These calls will send your prompts and parameters to the Gemini model and receive the generated text in response. This allows you to dynamically generate creative text formats, answer questions, translate languages, and much more, all within your applications. Ready to learn? Let's dive in.